<laughs> Don, I hope you get everything that you want for Christmas. Well, who have we got here? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me now, I'm sorry. It's quite all right. It certainly is crowded, isn't it? It's that time of year. Yes. Well, I, I guess your children are anxious to meet Santa Claus. Child, I only have one. Oh. <laughs> well, I bet he's excited. <laughs> no, he's at home. <laughs> oh. I thought this little fellow belonged to you. I thought he belonged to you. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I just stopped by to take one of Santa's helpers to lunch. Isn't that a coincidence? I just stopped by to bring one of Santa's helpers a present. Uh, she and my son, Tommy, once spent Christmas together. Oh. Uh, which one of Santa's helpers is that? Over there. That girl. <laughs> You're not supposed to open it before Christmas. Well, presents in this category, you can. What category? Presents from people you don't really know. And besides, I'm dying to find out what it is. But if you don't really know her, why did she buy you a present? Well, her son's a friend of mine. Yes, she told me that. Did she also tell you about the time I almost ruined this Christmas? Why? Did you tell him there's no Santa Claus? <laughs> there's no what? Oh, sorry. Oh, look. Isn't that darling? Honey, I'm assuming that uh, son you spent the Christmas with is like that. Oh, well, no, Don. Actually, he was more like that. <laughs> oh, he was so cute. It was three Christmases ago, before I ever became an actress. <laughs> I mean, before I became a Santa's expert. <laughs> Christmas tree, and you were very, very believable. Thank you, Miss Ray. You really were. I mean, the way you swayed, it was just like a tree in the wind. Whatever made you think of moving like that? It was the pine needles. They itched. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, it was just terrific. And if I ever find a Broadway producer who's looking for somebody who can play a tree, I'm going to tell him I know just the guy. A Broadway producer? Yeah, well, I hope I meet one someday. You see, I want to be an actress. Aren't you coming back after the holidays? No, I don't think so. See, everybody I like is an actress. What do you mean? My mother's an actress. Really? Isn't that nice? Do you want to be an actor when you grow up? No, I think I'd rather be an astronaut or work in a gas station. <laughs> <laughs> well, who knows? You may be able to do both. By the time you grow up, they may have gas stations on the moon. Okay, now you take these back to Miss Berman's room. And you were just a wonderful tree. It was very nice knowing you, Tommy. Have a Merry Christmas. Fat chance. What do you mean, fat chance? I'm sure you've had lots of fun Christmases. I've never had it in a house. Only in a hotel. And the last three Christmases, Mom and Dad weren't even here. Well, I'm sure they're going to be here this year, aren't they? I think so. If the movie is finished, I'm just waiting to see what goes wrong this time. Well, I'm sure if anything was going to go wrong, you'd have heard by now. We'll see. So long, Miss Marie. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you going to give me a kiss goodbye? Uh-uh. Astronauts don't kiss girls. <laughs> Gas station attendants do. Okay. 
Bye. Bye. Well, that was one of the most successful Christmas parties we've ever had. Well, I've always had a way with trees. <laughs> Won't you sit down, please? Thank you. Now, uh, are you still thinking of giving up teaching? Well, for the time being, yes. I really want to try acting. I'm sure you'll be very good at it. You have a nice theatrical feel. The children respond to you very well. <laughs> Thank you. It was a lot of fun. Mrs. Merriman and I particularly liked that little boy whom you had swaying like the wind. Well, that wasn't swaying. That was scratching. What? Tommy Phillips was scratching. A slight case of pine needles. Oh. Well, I'm afraid I have some bad news for Tommy. His parents aren't coming home for Christmas. Well, how did you know? Tommy said something might happen. They're making a film. It's behind schedule. If only I'd known, I could have done something. Well, what could you have done? Oh, I don't know. Maybe make him one of the trees that talked. <laughs> oh, hi, Roger. How do you do, Miss Marie? Am I disturbing you? Oh, no, honey. I'm just getting ready to leave. Would you like to come in? No, oh, thank you. I just came to give you a gift. For me? Yes. Merry Christmas. Oh, Roger. You shouldn't have done that. Why not? Oh, well, that's just an expression people use when they get a present they didn't expect. It's okay. My mother won't let me keep it. What is it? My dead butt collection. Oh. You don't already have one, do you? Oh, oh no. This will be my first one. You'll find it there. Ants, spiders, seven regular flies, and one horse fly. Oh. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, Roger, I can't tell you how happy I am you gave this to me. I wish my mother liked bugs as much as you do. Well, different people like different things. Anytime I find any new bugs, I'll bring them right to you. Terrific. Bye, Miss Marie. Bye.